reviewing restaurants uh, all over the city. Mm -hmm. Our critics uh, go into the restaurants, dine incognito, and uh, uh, tell it like it is. That's right. It, it, tell it like it is. That's, that was going to be my next question. Down here on the bottom of the uh, cover, it says, Brutally Honest Local Food Critics. So uh, I know there's a rating system I involved. Um, how, you know, what's your reputation as a food critic? Well, uh, I guess that's up to readers to decide, right. but um, we, ha we use a 10-point uh, rating scale, mm -hmm. uh, and we use the whole scale, so no grade inflation. Uh, I think one of our uh, you know, big ideas is that we are looking for restaurants that are good value. Uh, we try to identify uh, places that may not be that well-known, that may be uh, you know, kind of out of the way, but uh, offer great food at good prices. Um, and with respect to the kind of big, famous restaurants in town, some of them do well, some of them don't. We're looking for places that are worth your money if you're going to spend a lot of it. That's right, and especially in these economic times, people want more bang for their buck. How do you, what's the process like? You go in, do you order one thing on the menu? Do you order a, a whole table's worth of menu items? Well, we have a panel of uh, about 10 to 15 people uh, who share their experiences with the group and we compile their joint experiences into one review. Uh, so each of them is ordering different things, visiting multiple times. Um, I'm, I oversee this group, so I'm not the, uh, you know, the critic. Uh, I'm the sole I'm critic. I'm the supervisor. Um, and so uh, I think the, the important thing is that they're like-minded. All of us are looking for um, you know, the same things. Mm -hmm. Interesting food, chef-driven restaurants, uh, places that are uh, really serious about uh, treating people well and giving people a good experience. So uh, together we're hopefully able to uh, be as accurate as possible. Well, it's a, a great resource, a handy resource. Obviously, uh, lots of options in here if you can see how, how thick that book is. So if you're looking for new options for date night, Saturday night, check out the Fearless Critic book. Help you with your uh, Austrian restaurant guide. And we also have uh, fearlesscritic.com is our website. You can find out, uh, you can also get the book online. Subscribe to the, uh, subscribe to the full content. Perfect. Thanks for being here. Thanks a lot. Robin Goldstein. Uh, now time to check in with Mary and your first warning weather forecast. Uh, patio eating tonight, Mary? Yeah, I think it will be. It'll be a very nice evening for us and great weather for graduation day. So congrats to all of the graduates uh, graduating at UT. A live look with our downtown camera looking towards our UT tower this morning. Well, we are seeing overcast skies. Our temperatures are warming up a little bit. We're looking at 77 degrees for our temperature right now. Variable winds right around 7 miles an hour. Humidity at 82%. And our temperatures as we start off the day, you can see in the 70s around around Central Texas. So a uh, coolest spot at 71 in Fredericksburg, 75 in Llano, 73 in Burnett, 75 in Georgetown, also for San Marcos. And to the east, you can see a little bit warmer in LaGrange at 78 degrees. Satellite and radar view